Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Today I thought I'd give the Country Streak Challenge a another try. So single player, uh, I think maybe a time limit is appropriate because um, this this could go on. Uh, so let's say 2 minutes and 30 seconds. All the moving required. Uh, and my best streak it says here is 15. Not sure if we'll beat that with a 2 minute 30 second limit but um, we can sure give it a good go. So let's see how we do. Okay, first location is a loading. We've got here a roundabout, so there should be some signs. Looks Middle Eastern E. Yes, this helps. Um, Foundation El Habib uh, Polane Scolaire. Okay, so this has also got French in it. So that is really interesting. Um, it's French and Arabic, so not going to be sort of Middle East, I don't think. It's going to be Northern Africa, possibly Algeria, Morocco. Um, let's just get over here and turn it around and see. We've got yellow taxis. I'm just turning around to see this sign. Ah, oh, I thought it would be a road sign, but it isn't. Um, there is a URL there, though. What does that say? Unfortunately, I can't make it out, so that's not helpful. Um, let's just progress down this road. It looks like a relatively major road, so perhaps there'll be something here. Lots of taxis around. And what do we have here? Le Jardin de Mesne. Okay, I think my best strategy now will just be to look and see which country this appears in. I'm thinking Morocco, Algeria, or Tunisia. Uh, because of the Arabic and the French, I think, let's try Tunisia. El Min. And the X3 as well. The X3 is, is possibly a road name. We're going to have to make a decision in a second. I don't see any X's there. So, that's a no-go. We're in Algeria now, and I don't see any there either. The N's and the A's in Morocco. Oh, that's frustrating. What other countries have a sort of French influence? Lebanon, maybe? Um, nope, don't see it there either. So I think I'm going to go with Morocco. Uh, let, us, let us go with that. I've got seven seconds left, so I have to get over here. Morocco is the guess. Guess. Oh, and it was Tunisia. <laughs> okay, play again. Start the game. And let's see where we are. Hulk Bank. Right, okay. This sounds sort of Scandinavian to me. Hulk Bank. Looks like we're by a park. Um... What flags do we have here then? Ah, very interesting flag there. That is the Macedonian flag, I think. Um, really unique. It's kind of this funny sun that shines out. Is it Macedonia or... It's not Malta. North Macedonia. There, we can see it appearing there. The sun's rays shining down. So let's go for the guess. First one down. Very good. Okay, didn't have to look too far there, and we're certainly nowhere near Scandinavia as I thought we might be, so um, good to see. Trattoria, okay, so uh, possibly, uh, not sure. Dot .ar, so that's Argentine, I think. Okay, well that that's probably settled that one then. I'll just take a quick look around. Lovely... Um, old buildings here. Look at the sort of architecture here. This is quite classical uh, with this ornate um, work that's been carved into the stone. Yeah, this looks like, I mean, this could probably be Buenos Aires. Um, I'm not sure. I've never been or traveled there. It looks like a pretty big city. Got some bike lanes, for example. So it's all pretty, pretty established. Um, definite Spanish language. Pizzeria here. Got a nice looking pizzeria. Uh, but yes, it's the .ar on this um, 
on this truck that is giving it away, I think. So let's go there and see. I'm just curious. I'll um, scroll into the pin and see if we were in BA. Yes, we were. Okay, so we were in Buenos Aires. Okay, that's good. This feels like it could be sort of Florida. Um, what do we have here? Uh, I see some flags down there, including the American flag, so that's good. But also, possibly the Canadian flag? So, Despacio. Okay, that's interesting. So, not, possibly not America. There's something on those signs there that says where we are, like a municipality of, of where we are. So... Oh, that's frustrating. I can't see them in closer detail. Uh, I thought, you know, we might be in, uh, in, in in the US, but it does not seem so because of the writing on the ground. So we need to move on from that and try and figure something out. Um, I'm glad I didn't guess immediately. We've got here a pretty major intersection, looks like. And I need to find some signs quickly. Uh, there's a sign over here. Let us go this way and turn around. Barranco. I'm thinking possibly Mexico at the moment. Premax. Don't recognize that name. It's not Pemex either. So maybe not Mexico. Um, oh dear. It would be useful to have some good, some other clues. Um, but at the moment, I've got nothing else. So let, let us progress. We've got a minute to go. So that's okay. Oh, not sure where I've landed myself now, but don't have time unfortunately to what is this taxi does this no it's just got a license number on it it doesn't have anything else so clearly in a latin sort of country uh, perhaps central america could be mexico could be south america um, really not sure at the moment and with 25 seconds left left to go um, i think i'll just go with mexico because of course we could be in Brazil as well with Portuguese I'm just not sure but maybe I recognize that from Mexico so look I'm going with the guess and it was in Peru okay well down to the wire then so my streak ended at two countries which isn't great let's play again perhaps if we can do I don't know five or ten that would be a a good start. Instituto de Seguridad. I think that just means security. This, to be honest, looks similar, doesn't it? I mean, it could easily be the same Peru. Um, oh, we've got here a great big flag, so that helps. And those, to me, look like the Argentine colours. So let us uh, not spend too long on this would be good to check because it doesn't seem that they fall to the right angle let's see this looks like a pretty major building as well just because the flag isn't isn't um sort of fluttering in the wind it's it's hard to, yes it's almost certain hang on is it no that crest in the middle there is absolutely not the same as this one so we can rule out Argentina. Also, the colours, the bar, the stripes are going the other way. Yes, that's what I thought. So I'm just, I'm going to click around for a quick. I'm going to sort of do the cheat and just click the other countries briefly. So not Uruguay, Chile, Paraguay, Bolivia. No, I know that. Peru, Ecuador, Colombia, Venezuela, Guyana, Suriname, French. That's France, obviously. Hmm. Are we in Central America then? Of course, it could still be. It might not be a national flag we're looking at. Guatemala. Now we're talking. That is the Guatemalan flag. So, here we are. I don't think I've ever had a round in Guatemala. Maybe I have. But um, that that has really helped there with the flags. Centro de Justica de Familia, okay, yeah, so it's definitely, you know, it feels like it, I mean, again, I've never been to Guatemala, but it feels like it could be 
um, sort of looks Central American. So let's just go with it. Think that that's right. First one down. Yes. Superb. Okay, we've got another grand institution here with a great with a flag on top. So that should help. This feels more like Southeast Asia. Looking at the people, that would sort of confirm that. Uh, so we can click around on the flags again as well. But why don't we try and do some exploring? Um, interesting. So got got some squiggly writing there. Obviously, I cannot translate that for a second, but this looks pretty grand. Um, it's funny. This almost looks um, kind. Of, this almost looks Russian, actually. Zak Bank. So that's interesting. So maybe it's not Southeast Asian, but actually Mongolia. Oh, maybe that's the Mongolian flag. Yes, it is. Mongolia. Okay, I was wrong about Southeast Asia. Um, but still the sort of complexion of, of the people, uh, you know, is certainly Asian and, and that's the thing I think around this region also into India as well folk in in people who are who are native to North India can also look similar um, as opposed to as opposed to sort of the rest of India um, it's quite different there as well Nepal Myanmar Burma but also China Mongolia and into Kazakhstan as well and Russia so yes this fits the bill okay great it was the um, text there that looks more Cyrillic which gave it away and also on this monument um, there was a language that I didn't recognize at all let's just have a look this so that's interesting that's different again not Cyrillic either or English so really interesting there I'm pretty confident in Mongolia so let's get that one out of the way good we're back to two countries okay it's amazing how some of them are so dead easy and others really aren't. I actually find Europe harder because unless you see a flag, it's kind of, there's a lot of options. Um, so what do we have here? Whereas, you know, I mean, this place has got all sorts going on. It looks bare, so seasonal, almost like North America. This almost looks like New York City on a, on a, sort of in, in the in the winter with these bare trees but I think I'm seeing some Spanish around um, and some English what do we have here you why so Uruguay perhaps I think that makes sense so there's definitely Spanish you know illumination I think Uruguay Uruguay they speak Spanish not Portuguese I think Brazil's the only Portuguese one so dot ui is it's an assumption on my part that that is your the uruguayan uh sort of domain extension but i think it's a pretty reasonable assumption given that we've also got the spanish as well so it's not going to be europe um the sun is sort of yeah in the north so that would confirm we're in the southern hemisphere so i think i'm going to go with uruguay okay guess that was correct we were in montevideo close to Buenos Aires. Okay, this looks like another Latin sort of area. We've got the Harley Davidson um, bar there. Cafenicia. Maybe it's not Latin speaking then, but is that Greek? Um, this uh, looks more, more European, but as we know, in South America, there can be sort of European looking cities as well. Oh, hello, mate. Yes, good to see you too. Very good. Welcomes us with open arms. At least I assume he does. Yes, this looks this looks European. Even the road signs are sort of familiar to, to Brits, to be honest. So um, we've just got to get this right now. I don't think we're in Greece then. So are we in... Where could we be? Croatia? Turkey? Um, this looks like the main strip here. Unfortunately, we, can we get onto it? Yes, we can great okay there's going to be some signs around as well so that is good a 
minute and 20 to go the time is ticking still and i've not quite figured it out to be honest so it's not the netherlands or germany or any one of those we're absolutely in the city center so we should be able to nail this one down really um just curious curious about the language curious about the writing curious about all those sorts of things that's what i'm thinking at the moment for me it could just as easily be sort of estonia as it could be um as it could be somewhere sort of more like in the mediterranean i've only got 30 seconds left and it's not getting closer at the moment so need to do some thinking do some exploring come on Let's try and work it out from, from this junction here. What's on the side of this taxi? Bolt. Fifteen seconds left. Um, not sure. I'm going with Latvia, although it's wrong. Oh, my goodness. Yes. Yes. That is honestly one of the best guesses I've ever made. I had no idea. We were in Riga. Um, <laughs> okay. My thinking was, I didn't recognize the language. It wasn't Greek. It could easily, I was thinking, I was torn basically between the Baltic states and these nations down here. Croatia, sort of former Yugoslavia. And I took a complete guess. The only thing I was thinking is, you know, after walking around a bit, the city looked very grand, didn't it? It looked sort of, the buildings were big, ornate, kind of Russian feeling almost. And so that is what did it for me and moved me up into Latvia. And then it was a guess and I didn't like the look of Lithuania and I wasn't sure about Estonia either. It was because I think we've been in Tallinn before and I, I didn't recognize it. So that is just amazing. I'm so happy with that. Okay, next round. Whew. Okay. Where are we now? Get a good look at the writing. Richtig Gutzebier. Eiger beer. Is that Eiger? E I G E R? Egger. No. Okay. okay. Egger beer. Don't recognize that. Um, let's go through here. We're working in meters. Clearly, we're back in Europe. Uh, this has got altogether more German stroke Austrian stroke Swiss feel to it. Um, although, you know, not sure about that either. What do we have? Uh, Vienna? Um, Texi.at. This is what's happening here. This is not the logo, this is the truck moving and uh, the sort of frame rate of the camera taking two images which have been stitched together so it's not a w it's a v and there's not two a's there's just one textile service texty.at i think from all of that we can confirm that well at least the truck is from austria that doesn't mean we're in austria but it's a it's a damn good bet isn't it so uh rather than than snouting around anymore and talking ourselves out of it let's just go for the guess okay good we've made it to five countries Fantastic. Next round. Another very grand um, place here. And we've got some interesting flags. Again, Macedonian flag. That is it, isn't it? Flying proud. Look at this absolutely bizarre ship here. What on earth is this? <laughs> is that a building? Or, I mean, it's on a river. So... God, that's weird. We've got, uh, we're in a sort of orthodox Christian country. So, yeah, look, I mean, that is clearly the Macedonian flag. So it's just so kind of um, unique, shall we say, that uh, it, it can't be anything else, to be honest. But I'm just curious. I'm actually going to spend just a second. North Macedonia is what I mean to say. Sorry. I mean to say North Macedonia. So I presume we're in the most major city, given the sort of size and grandeur of it all. So Skopje, I don't know how to pronounce that. 
let's just get in there. I'm just curious to see where we are and what that boat is, if we can. So now we've zoomed in. Um, I'll just spend 10 seconds or so getting my bearings. So we're looking northwest. You know, I suspect we're, we're around here. The Art Bridge, the I Bridge. That main building is on the north side, isn't it? So maybe we're not there. Well, whatever. Not sure. But um, just a bit weird. I'm absolutely perplexed by that boat. <laughs> so, um, well, look, I won't scroll in and, and have something to look at uh, afterwards, I think. Right. We've got here the sort of long boats of Europe that tour through places like Vienna, Prague, and so on so this might not be easy because uh, again we could be in, in any one of those sort of amazing cities pa Prague Budapest and so on and then the question is how do you figure it out so let me just go back to the start um, is it worth trying to progress down here oh dear I think I'm gonna get lost No, I want to get out of here. What are we thinking at the moment then? Probably, I don't know. I, not many bridges over this river, that's for sure. Um, possibly Budapest. I think that this is best worked out through through scrolling actually Bratislava Vienna let's have a look at Vienna quickly this is clearly a major European town are we perhaps out down here then looking now south Possibly. Um, I'm a bit lost and not making progress, unfortunately, finding anything. So that is one, and I only looked at one option there, which I don't like. I need to sort of compare them all. So unfortunately, I've found myself in this sort of uh, walled off area. And so that means I can't really figure it out. Perhaps the main city is up north there which would put us around here uh, in this Zenta Klauter. Ah, look at that. We we're in the Czech Republic. We we're in Prague, in fact. So there we go. I should have looked at it, as I said I was going to do, instead of um, instead of guessing. But um, remarkably few, few bridges over the river there. So where were we exactly? Yeah, we were just looking. We were on the south side, and we were just looking south where there aren't where there aren't many bridges, basically. So there we go. The streak ended at six countries. Well, look, I think I'll leave it there. This is clearly not a personal best, but nonetheless, I enjoyed playing that and uh, trying to improve. I will one day sit down with more time allocated to try and record a longer video where I go through and, and try, uh, try and break my record of 15. But, um, but uh, uh, you know, of course, that could mean that the video is like two hours long. So I need to find the find the right time to do that. Um, anyway, nonetheless, thank you very much for watching this uh, with me. I do hope you've enjoyed playing along and I will see you in the next video.